people ready, we'll start. Welcome. Um, we will start with the public question time. Uh, where there's actually no, this isn't public. But have we got anybody other than Grant applicants who are here for with a question? No. So that's okay. Uh, does anybody? We are recording this. Does anybody want to record in addition to the recording we are doing? No. Thank you. Um, I suggest that what we do is, if the councillors are willing to do this, to have the public speak in support of their application when we get to applications. Is that acceptable? Thank you. Apologies for absence. We've had the reasons emailed to us. Uh, do you want to remind us who the people are so it can be? Um, yes, so uh, we've got apologies from Councillor Buster, Councillor Paul Dixon, Councillor Sweeney, Hogley. Councillor Davis, Councillor Hogley. And there was one more in there. I think there's somebody else I've got that I'll do. Councillor Green, yeah, Councillor Green. Yeah. So you were you were approving the reasons that you already that you already yes. have yes. So, Are you all content to approve those reasons? Yeah. 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 Um, do we have any members, personal, disposable, pecuniary, or personal interests in any of the items on the agenda? I suppose for the sake of completion, I ought to say item two on fifty seven I, uh, the agreed grants to friends of the correct. I didn't hear a word back in it. Sorry. <laughs> no, okay. two, two, for, the sake, yeah, for the sake of completeness, yes, I, I should declare an interest in item 212075, which is the already agreed grant to the Friends of Cliff. Red. All right. Uh, any officers, pecuniary or personal interest? No. no. Any new DPI applications? Or Do I have to declare? No. No, because we haven't done it yet. Um, do we, is there anything on the agenda we feel should be discussed in a private session? No. The minutes. The minutes of the previous meeting. Are you, does anybody have any matters of arising, any queries, any arguments, any problems with the minutes? No. No? Fine. Um, grants. Right. You've had the grants in your packs. And um, what order have we got them in? We've got them in film, film festival, festival first. Film and so you've read the grounds. Stephen, would you like to talk to uh, Yeah. Uh, sorry for the state of the actual application. Uh, I, my computer uh, went off for two weeks and I lost all my emails, so I had to do part of it by hand. Uh, the film festival had um, an interesting year last year, uh, like every festival and event. Uh, we weren't able to do what we wanted normally do um, with a week or two long week weekends. Uh, we did manage to do an online uh, part festival in June, which went quite well. But obviously, it's difficult because you can't get licenses for films to screen online as you would like to do. But we did uh, put up all our local films <laughs> and. Uh, we did have interviews with people in films, um, we did have quizzes, um, and it went pretty well. Um, then in October, we had a long weekend. Um, I planned it that I expected that we would probably get 70% of our audience. Um, that turned out to be the case. It actually went very well, and the feedback was brilliant. I think partly because people just wanted to go out and we hadn't seen films for a long time, and it went really well. We put on 24 films uh, from around the world, and we got a great response. We had really good uh, discussions. Uh, we had some speakers. One of the good things about it was that the age group was actually lower than normal. Uh, we got quite a few um, people in the 20s and 30s. Uh, I think like lots of festivals, it's difficult to attract young people sometimes, but 
it worked well and also we got in, um, we did a free event for children which was a great success. Uh, so overall I thought it, it went really well. Um, we do have a problem like all festivals that um, we were running on empty in terms of volunteers, some just didn't want, want to come out because of Covid. Uh, it was a period when Covid had gone really down so uh, we were able to do it but I think everybody is suffering from trying to get more volunteers and we have a particular problem because of uh, the technical side and um, we have a few people who do a lot. Uh, so that worked well. Now for this year uh, we're planning to do something on the weekend of the 10th and to the 13th of March. Uh, we've kind of been hanging back because waiting to see what COVID is like. Uh, it appears probably that it's going to be okay to do something then. But it won't be the full kind of event that we were hoping to do. That will probably be in October. Uh, the idea for this year is that uh, climate change is going to be the theme and we are running lots of films and events to do with that. Um, we want to engage with local community and various groups like HOT, uh, the River Con Conservation. Um, we will put on films and discussions around that. Um, cycling is going to be quite a big thing, hopefully, as well. And uh, we're using various venues throughout the valley, uh, about six, hopefully, over the year, different ones, uh, including mostly in here, which has been very good. <coughs> Uh, a tech and uh, we're using church in Holt in um, E Mill. Uh, we use Hepworth Village Hall, which is always very good, um, and also uh, partly the picture drone, although it's mostly music now. Uh, so we're hoping to put on over the year something like 50 films, uh, which is probably far more than most festivals of our size do. I mean, we hope to put on as many different kind of films and attract kind of different audiences. Uh, we like to put on um, films for children because they're the, the cliche of the future, as it were. Uh, although the British Film Institute doesn't actually fund any films for children, its key group is 30 to 40 year olds, so uh, we look for funding for that. Uh, we are having uh, a lot of our local films that we've screened over the last 12 years, uh, digitalized, and there's some brilliant new uh, computer programs, software programs, that really makes a big difference to them. Uh, it changes, puts the speed into the correct speed, and it fills in all the gaps, and they look absolutely brilliant. So uh, we're hoping to do a screening of that at some stage in the year. So we'll be doing monthly Sunday night films uh, a weekend in March, one in October, which is probably going to be the bigger one with more of the climate change uh, theme. Uh, Christmas, uh, we had to cancel this Christmas, we had six films lined up for here and it became clear that Covid was going to make that impossible. Uh, we had to look out for our volunteers as well, so we cancelled that. Fortunately we were able to do that without losing uh, too much money on that. Um, and the idea of uh, this year was, uh, I can't remember when it seems so long ago now, when I came, and it was about 18 months, two years ago, when uh, it was kind of agreed that if we got funding, then we would split it, that 50% would go to a kind of central fund uh, to Rachel, probably, which would be about uh, promoting festivals in general in Holm Firth. Uh, the reality is that festivals haven't been very good at cooperating in the past. They've um, had a grant already. Right. They've had grants, but the uh, festivals themselves, between the festivals, haven't really worked together mm -hmm. very well. Um, this, the, the idea was that we would work together to promote festivals overall and kind of the year of the festivals to get them up and running again, with the possibility of having one weekend where all festivals would put on an event to promote each festival and all the festivals. Um, and the other 50% was uh, to go to community-run venues 
uh, specifically in our case, it was to hold further tech um, to the Civic. Uh, we booked both and we used both um, quite a lot and they've been very good. So um, it's the film festival, we want to put on as many films as we can from around the world, promote local groups and uh, do local film nights of local historic films and involve groups in uh, films, campaigns, advertising promotion of what they're doing on private shows. Does anybody have any questions? Specifically, half, yeah. and then half is towards the venue, which is here, yes. across the road. Yes, that's fine. The Langsex one is that we're um, giving five hundred pounds to that out of our own money. That's 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 fine. Thank you. What we usually do is say thank you, and then we have our discussion when you're not here, yeah. right. and we let you know as quickly as we can. Okay. Thank Thanks you. So much. So the next one is. So yes. Sorry, so we should, just before we go, we should talk because I'm the director. You're you you're the next one, so we want to do yours. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Stephen. Okay, just give me my number. Oh, lovely. Mine's in mine's in there too. Okay. Mine's in there. Thank you. Thanks, Holly. So, okay, so um, I'm a project manager for Sharing Memories. I joined in October before we went into the lockdown in February, March. Um, and when I joined, there was relatively little um, uh, long-term resources. There was enough for one, enough for one project, essentially. So, um, since then, I've we had to shut for 15 months because the uh, members are all elderly so they were shielding um, but when we got going again I, I was looking for funding for the next project um, and we've now since we came back together in June we've now run two projects um, and we know very much that the, um, the services in the land is growing I think even when I wrote the application I think we had 11 members we've now got 14 <laughs> So it's growing rapidly. Even on Sunday, I had a call from uh, a lady who, um, who I think is in her seventies. Uh, she started an art degree, then she got cancer, then she hit COVID, and she's just lonely and wants to do more art, wants to join, and wants to help other communities. Um, so one of the things I'm doing this year is trying to, uh, because we, we're always scratching around for, for project grants, and, and I'm finding that really difficult because my, um, the amount that I'm paid and the artists to pay are all freelance with no permanent staff, all comes from the projects. So when we're not doing the project, <coughs> we hit lockdown, obviously there was nothing coming in. Now, I did do some fundraising, um, just I'm, I'm paid because I wanted to keep it going once it got going again. So one of the things I'm doing this year is trying to turn it into a registered charity because I can see that there's a lot more uh, pots of funding that we can apply for. Um, that if you're not a registered charity or a CIC, um, you, you just can't enter for. Um, so what we agreed, myself and the artist, is that we would run an extra long project, which would then give me time to step away a little bit from the um, project management of the, of the project itself and, and turn it into a charity, recruit trustees, look at the constitution, that sort of thing. Um, so that's why we've got a long project that runs, going to run from, it started now and run to October. And it, but it, I've broken it up into a series of little projects. And, and my reason for that is, um, I've applied for a large grant before. And I think if I applied for a large grant to cover the whole thing, such as from the Arts Council, which is what we looked for, and then we didn't get it, I would have no funds and, and would have to fold. And I, I couldn't bear that. <laughs> I couldn't bear that idea. So I've applied for lots of relatively small um, pots of funding. 
and that was why I was part of the, the recent parish one. Um, the, the project is called In Deep, um, and it is also a sort of environmental one, which I can link up with Ross and um, the other projects within the, within the valley. Um, and it's all about the, uh, the problems that the oceans are facing if we don't act and do something about it. So the members um, will be creating a giant installation, a giant exhibition that's all about sea creatures and, and the sea fauna and flora, all, but all from recycled materials. We're trying to find a venue to put the eventual um, exhibition on in. Um, we were looking at um, the North Light Gallery, but I gather they don't have exhibitions anymore, which is a real shame. Um, so we're still looking, but I, I really want it to be within, within the valley. Um, and that will be October time. We've had to adjust the way that we work. Um, we're still working at the moment just with the members, because normally what they do is they go out into other community groups, which might be other old people's homes, it might be um, a day centre for people with disabilities, it might be a school, primary school, we work within that, part of the Rock Lab School at Homebrook. And what they do then is they, they learn the skills themselves and then they mentor other people within the community. Um, so it's fostering those community relationships and meeting people that they wouldn't normally meet. And, and meeting the young, that's what they really love. They love going into schools more than anything. But we've had to alter that because um, we just can't risk going into the bad venues at the moment. So the way we're working is we're working at the Phoenix Centre, um, <coughs> just our members, we have our masks on, we're really spread out on tables. Um, but every single member has come back, and as I say, we're going there bar one. Um, and what we're going to do now is film, we're going to work for a couple of weeks on one of these mini projects, film it, and then send it out to all of the groups that we've worked with in the past. So whereas in the past we might just work with one group on, on a particular project, this time we're going to send it to all of them to encourage them to do the same, to encourage brand new schools um, and build down that sort of place, to encourage them to do exactly the same and then to come together because we're hoping that by October they could come and, and, and build this exhibition with us and we've, we've got their plan as well. So what we were looking for was um, funding for one of the, part funding for one of the mini projects, which is building a giant jellyfish from plastic bags. <laughs> um, and that would be part of the, so all recycled, and that would be part of the eventual exhibition. Thank you. We have applied for other funding. Um, I just had a question because I wasn't sure how long it would take to, to get a response. So I had, just had a question that, because I've got a, quite a lot of different pots that are going to report back at the end of March, was whether if, um, if the funding was agreed, whether we could put that in one of the earlier mini projects that um, I think I said the fourth you one. Should get a you'll probably get a response this week. Right. If I, yeah. okay. So, so it was just a question for me really was, um, would, would it matter if, if it was agreed, if it was on one of the earlier projects, because I think I specified the fourth one. Um, that, that was just a question. I mean, I can, tell, same, I, can tell, I can tell you tomorrow, I mean, legally you're allowed to stay today and leave today. I mean, you can't yeah. force you to leave. We have to still conduct <laughs> our deliberations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't just stay. No, no, that's fine. I'm quite, um, I need to go to this choir. Yeah, to yeah, yeah. <laughs> You've got to go off where you're needed to form a call. But, yes. but I, I can, I'll, I'll certainly uh, let you know tomorrow. Okay, that's super. Yes. And then I don't think. Well, we can discuss it, but it's unlikely we would object to your using it for a project a little earlier. It would be the same cost, so so because I think to put it for the artist, to yes. give the cause artist, Maroon Meyer, we just need it to one of the earlier projects yes. if that was possible. It's I can't be, imagine there'd be a problem. I think in some ways it would be better to see this time out in the year than the next. That would be yeah. fine. Yeah. So yeah. That, would, that would be better for those. We've started the project and we're funding the first five weeks from our reserves, yeah. um, which would take us into the beginning of February. Yeah. So it could be a late February. Yeah, that's good. Councillor Patrick. Sorry. Um, I was I was going to ask where the exhibition is, but you've already you've already. Yeah, asked unfortunately, I haven't found I haven't found it. Somebody suggested. Sorry, so it was turned off. Somebody suggested Bates Mill to me. So where? Bates. Bates Mill. Bates Mill. Bates Mill. I was also I was also going to say that I, the, the, there's a lot in here that I that I really like. You know. Mm. I think the, 
climate emergency. And also the fact you've made incredibly strenuous efforts to raise money from other yeah, yeah. yeah. What's so lovely, it's so lovely to me when I, I had a call on Sunday from this little lady and she <coughs> just she just wants to join, you know. <laughs> so, you know, will I be able to join? I've done this and this and this and will I come? You know? And I, I we we just produced these leaflets because we were down to eight members. Um, and so I've taken it around some of the sheltered housing groups and the response has been amazing. <coughs> call after call, you know. So I know I think it's people are just and some of these people are sort of, you know, in their eighties and nineties and they just want to go out. Lying to go out and leave yeah. Yeah, yeah. The chap on the front here, not Tommy, he, he he's got dementia actually and he um, his wife comes as well, so his wife doesn't have dementia. So he gets a lot of help. But she enjoys artistically so she gets free time. Mm -hmm. so yeah she gets a little bit of rest time. Yeah, because yeah. because one of the artists at Free Life Artists will work closely with him mm -hmm. and give and give her the time to explore her own artistic stuff, which is which is good to see. Yeah. Okay, well thank you. Okay, and, uh, we will get back to thank you me. very quickly. Lovely, thanks. Thanks. So I'll go. I'll go. Go and see. Go and committee. <laughs> <laughs> And then the last grant application is on the on the junior football club, um, which is a small one. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Yeah, which is three fifty for um, a reasonably sturdy gazebo that can be lugged around, so they don't have to get changed in the dressing room. No. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's more than one. It's two hours. Yeah, four. Hours. Some of the grants are for what is events like a film festival, 
Nem vagy, hogy volt a százat rám, vagy végül a százat rám, mert csak van a százat rám, mert csak a százat rám, hogy nem érve egy évben, nem érve pénzbe kérni, hogy van ezt a reggelet. Ez egy rejtsz, tehát egy rejtsz happen. De van egy százat, de van azt, hogy kezd fogom alávni, és de nem kell menni rejtsz, hogy nyugi lepség szüper kolomból is, ha mert csak, de valami növel nyugi lepség egy rejtsz. It's, it's, it's called acids, isn't it? Yeah, I understand, I understand the difference. I, I do yeah. understand the difference, but this committee doesn't have to have separate things on a budget sheet for it. I mean, yeah, I think it probably does. I mean, I, 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 when we discussed it, I, I took your point that perhaps the amount that, that the project event size might be higher. Yeah, we might think about increasing that. I don't know the last time was. We might think about increasing it to 1500. Didn't we discuss leaving it to two? I think that I can remember they mentioned it. I can't remember what happened about that. Well, I think I think it's worth putting as an agenda item for the next meeting. Isn't this distinction between capital and revenue grants as well? Yeah. That's what it is in the text, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So I think we do need two types. I think we do need two types. We do need two types. Because yeah. someone can go with a big project and wipe out yeah. any events. <laughs> but, but what, no, no, no. But what it would be up to them? us to give them how much was appropriate from our budget. It but doesn't what? mean we have to give five grand every time, and it doesn't no. mean we would say yes. But, but one thousand seems quite low for yes. fairly small projects. I think we but, should, you know, just yes. basic projects often hit over a thousand. Yeah, I think we should look at like fifteen hundred or two thousand, especially with in, inflation and costs and everything just. Increasing. I, mean, I think that probably has to go to council. Yeah. That's a council decision. Shall we, uh, shall we consider that right now? No, it's not on the agenda. If it's going to go to council, if we agree it now, we can t put it to the next council meeting, Michael. And it's not a bother, really. It's not an agenda item on this we agenda. Can we can't just go and decide stuff in the meeting. Exactly. It's not being published on an agenda. Uh, okay. We'll, 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 we'll put it on the next it, agenda. Yeah, it's not too long for the next one. Yeah. Do we want, at this point, to suggest an amount we might like to see on the next agenda for this evening? Well, I think we can leave that open and make that decision there, but mm -hmm. I, I, my concerns are that to, to raise the amount without raising the budget... But we, we did get 20,000 without raising it last year, didn't we? So yeah. it's okay. Yeah. And, and, and we don't have happen. to grant the full amount no, no, to no. anybody. No, we don't, but you get the application, will be. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, you know, you, you make the allowance more, the application increased yeah. by the same. Yep. Yes. But I think it's something that needs to be discussed at the next meeting, you know, okay. yeah. So you want an open ended agenda item, shall we raise, shall we raise? Yeah, I mean, raise it without the raise, yeah, I think it's more than But we still have to go to public council anyway, won't we? Yeah. So that committee can decide what they want to propose. Yeah. So, anyway, so the next big one, which is obviously um, a cask. Um, and we'll come back to how much money there is in the task fund, which, which is a separate issue, is money towards electricity for the building of the Home Village Community Centre. <coughs> um, <coughs> which I presume they mean having wires laid and stuff by the electricity board now. Yeah. So, um, before we discuss how much money and whether we've got it, and we have got it, but we might have to diddle it around. Um, do we think it's a good thing to be giving money to, Michael? Is this an ex expression of interest, or is this an application? It's an expression of interest at the moment, but it well, what, what, I think if we'd had more time, we would have got this sort of application in, but it all came a bit of a rush yeah. after Christmas, didn't it? So Only last week, I think, wasn't it? So, uh, okay. when have we got the next meeting of... It's about a week. Is it about a week? It's March, isn't it? The next oh, yeah, it's March. March. And have we enough in the budget? Well, the, oh, is this financial? Yeah. Not in the budget. That's part of the discussion. There's two thousand in the budget. Yeah. There is a there is an earmark reserve of nine thousand. I'm yeah. going to say two thousand. We we've got so the talking, money earmarked. So that we could transfer to pay this if we wanted to. We have to ask council to. Yeah. So what we're talking about really is yeah. what, what we go back and advise them. Um, yeah, exactly. Yeah. To do with their funds. Yeah. Does that make any sense? Yeah, so that's exactly what it is. Yeah. And then we can ask full council 
to approve our shifting of some money from earmark reserves into this budget. If, if that's what you want to do. So if options, we decide we so, want so to So the options are laid out there. So you see the request, in fact, there's a, there's a, not a typo, but I made a mistake there. Well, so you could just ask them to apply now for 2000 and then come back for three next year. Yeah. There's the option of um, asking the council to free up from 5,000 from the earmark reserve and for them to apply for it in, in the next in the next uh, FNL meeting in March, that's another option. Uh, Viring the money, probably less. I wouldn't suggest you should do that. Viring the money potentially from the, the budget that we're using today, uh, or just having them to come back next next financial year. Those are, those are the yeah. four options. So if we give them the two thousand in March for this year, in the yeah. financial year, <coughs> that. Based on nobody else coming forward for any more money. Yeah. 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 You know, nobody else showing their face at the next at the March meeting. It's it is, there. but remember we've got um we've got the money lurking there, it's just in the wrong box. You know, we, we have got that here right reserve, and yeah. it's there for a purpose. So if people if wanted it, it we if could the purpose is, is for something like you know, trying to protect assets that are in danger. Then this is, you know, it's your consideration about whether that's the case. Or it's not. just the way, which is the easiest way of doing it without going to court. Yeah. Well, if if and we go just, to, if we went to the council and ask them to approve moving, say, five grand or six grand out of the earmarked into this budget, we would then have some money if we had some additional applications. Yes. I can't see any point in giving them part, you know, two thousand or anything. Whole, they need the whole whack, don't they? So they're going to get the billing one. It depends on the way to spend it, doesn't it? Because when he gets on with it, if he gets 2000 this year, and then say 3000 next year, the job's done. And that's that two years, and then we have to go to full council. There was something in our application that they needed it. I don't think they needed it. I'm sure I remember that they needed it because they can't actually do anything else till it's done or whatever. Yeah. 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 I'm trying to remember what they took. Yeah. 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 something like that. Yeah. I think they've yeah. got the internal one itself, isn't it? Just make it the, linking it up to the, yeah. to the, to the, the internal. I think they need it. Yeah. I think they probably need it yeah. this financial year. That was my impression. Well, it's the same amount of building care. It's financial year in the real life of the thing, is it? The way the process works, you don't think no, 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 you know, it is. You, you, you can you can now recommend it to council and they would get it at the next council meeting, which is in two weeks, if you want to. Well, they haven't got an application in yet. But, but and if you have to put an application into us, in my words, that's what I'm saying. We've got, we've got an expression of interest. We haven't got an application. Oh, so if you have to put an application to us in until in March, and then we can. Yeah, but I mean, we'll get it in March. Well, well that's, that's, yeah, that's, 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 that's March is two months. That's, that's not really short. Yeah, yeah. You have to put an application in for the fullback in March. Yeah. So, so this, this financial year. Yeah. So are we saying we're minded to give them the money as soon as we're able to give them the money? We need, we can't do it in for two weeks' time without a formal application. But they, if they get their skates on, then we'll do our best to get them there. Yeah. Yeah. Does yeah. that sound? Well, you want to support uh, the in principle, we would like to support. Yeah. Yeah, but you need to, you need to, I mean, you, what are you recommending to council? I think we're recommending to council that we give them five. Yeah, but from what from what what pot? From our A mark. Right, okay. If that's what and then, no, we haven't discussed it now, well, well, that's, that's no, 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 this is the purpose of an expression of interest, isn't it? Right. So we right. That's the, that's the purpose of an expression of interest, is we can get our ducks in line yeah, yeah, when a full application yeah. comes in. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So <laughs> we now do we want to put five grand across or do we want to put well, if we put Three five grand across, it gives us two lurking if somebody puts in a smaller application, but... Yeah, but it's how we go with that. Uh, yeah, okay. On the basis of this, can we recommend that to full council that we can yeah. right. transfer some so of the amount of recommending to full yeah. council that we cool. move five grand. Yeah, cool. And so you can say to no, these cool. people that have, you've not put a qualification in, so we can't... Yeah, However, 
on the basis of your expression of interest, we have done this. Yeah. Read into that what you will. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because our confusing financial processes, yes. we might get the money, but we can't go and put it. That's kind of team, but you know, we've made We can't be seen to be giving you this, but we've made a good job. We've made the money available just in case we decide that you, your yes. application has merit. Exactly. So yeah. also we haven't seen the application, have we? So, no. so you, yeah. you might have joined as well. It's not it's not well, actually, it's, it's not come to the end, we've got... I never heard of this electrician, you know what I mean? They've got reserves of £500,000, why are yes. you using those reserves? It could, could come quite well, quite that could be it, you know. Okay. Good. I think she has to go to the kitchen to get that way. It's not my I said we're a bit short of opposition today. <laughs> <laughs> we're also, I must say, after the, our last meeting, which was the marathon that went on till five in the morning or whatever it was, this feels like a holiday. Back in the day. Right, <laughs> so that's that. Accounts for payment. The first one, to note um, that we spent money on cards and um, as well as for councillor. To note the list of payments for November and December. Noted. 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 Yeah. To consider approving the pending transactions of the schedule of payments for January 2021. You probably saw there was only one payment as well, at least a good one. <laughs> <laughs> Which was for um, oh, it was so small it was it was for uh, a training thing that uh, the Crime Emergency Coordinator did. It's for ten pounds only. Well, we can, we, how, having considered that, do we feel we can approve? Yes. 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 Financial statements to note all the lists here. You've had them for a while. I went through them and I couldn't see anything that concerned me. I don't know whether anybody else did or just queries. It doesn't have to be a matter of concern. Are we happy to note to know them? Happy to approve. We sent item J to consider approval of the pending transaction. Second. So we're doing financial statements now. We're, we're, we're on doing... item yeah. 7 7 at the moment. To note. Um, tenancies. There's nothing much. Uh, so that's just to say that I um, that um, in, you know in this next period will just be me uh, writing letters and contracts to our to our um, our leases of our garages and allotments. Um, right. So that that's just that's just to make. Can I just ask you on that? Um, why is the person who uh, people who have got half an allotment? Why are they getting a little bit of an increase? That was agreed last at the last meeting. All right, okay. So it just seems a little bit anomalous, really, isn't it? But everybody else has a standstill, whereas the half. The people that are smaller, smaller. <laughs> 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 more you always pay more for a half in a pub than half the price of a half. It was a recommendation by Councillor Dixon, it was voted yeah. for. Yeah. 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 Right, um, and the revised about tax things. Rich will take us through this. Last time when we set the budgets and we went to full council, we didn't actually know what we were going to get from the code leads. We know now, so Rich can do it. Yeah, you'll remember last year our, our tax base went down rather surprisingly, probably for the first time that any of you will remember, and our preset went down accordingly. So it's quite nice that it's gone up by quite a lot this year. So we've got an extra eight thousand pounds, which we weren't really expecting, which means that um, in terms of the budget, we were going to need to dip into our reserves by uh, I think it was thirty something thousand, but it's kind of low twenty thousand now. So that's, that's, that's quite good news. Uh, and the that kind of special expenses grant we got has gone up a bit as well. So so that, that was that was good news. Uh, I don't think I needed to say anything more than that really, it was just a note really and to, um, are we approving the final grant figures? I don't know how it was worded. Um, well we need to approve yeah, the, the recommendation the of the revised yeah. precept and charge yeah, and then we can uh, 
so the point A is to note that there's a need. Point B, uh, the revised precept to be charged. I'm so happy to the revised, the revised precept is 28269 <coughs> on the revised charge of 3248. So that, well that's what you need to result in an increase for those, but to the Hang precept. Hang on, we don't have the oracle's attention to do the things that check it with you. <coughs> I know, I'm working off the time, the time is stopping. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the point A. Yes. Yeah. 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 So, so it's got from so the special expenses grant, which was that extra 32 pence per household, mm -hmm. so from 3236 to 3328. Precepts what, what we will recruit from church police or they will give to us is as increased by about 8,000 more than we thought it was. We've got two layers of two, six, nine, three. Yeah. Then the special expenses grant on of three, three, two, eight. Yeah. yeah. And, and that will mean that there's no charge. So we get a slight increase, but there's no charge to the expense payer. No, 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 no increase, no change. No increase in precepts to the way that. And then C is to note that it, the budget, which we previously put to full council, has obviously been adjusted so to reflect that. Reserves of low expenses rather than yeah. thirty something. Yeah. Can I just point out a correction in it though? So it's probably best if you're aware. I, I, I haven't adjusted the special expenses grant there. So. On the budget, where it says three, it still says three two thirty, so that should be three three two eight. Right. Yeah. So when we go to council, it'll be wanting a bit different. It will be slightly, it will be slightly different. There are some recommendations from the internal auditor, uh, which are listed here, which largely look like common sense to me. We can go through them, I think, probably reasonably quickly. Um, is there anything you want to draw well, attention to? Well, I was just going to say, what she's trying to do is make sure that the way we do things in practice mirrors what it says in our policies. Yeah. At the moment she's drawing attention to the fact that there are various things that we don't do as, as, as we've said. And rather than changing our practice, you know, her advice really is to change the policy. She's a woman after my own heart. Well, it's good, it's good, yeah. So in terms of the, the limits, in terms of uh, you know, procurement levels, she just suggested we, we bump them up. Mm -hmm. uh, in terms of the the, the um, contracts with home, the Home Valley Minibus service that we have with Stockton, uh, West Yorkshire Combined Authority thing. You, you, meant to, you meant to review your contracts on this, and I don't think we do that particularly well in terms of that bus service. I just, I just think it rolls. I mean, I've not obviously been here that long. I'm probably the same as some of you councillors, but we don't yeah. seem to review it. It just, it just happens. Kind of I don't know what's happened. There's somewhere on the line yeah. the wheels have fallen off. What she's suggesting is that either, you, either we do that and we review it every year, or we do a longer review, sort of four or five years, or her other suggestion, which is the easiest, is you kind of set it aside and make and maybe she worded it. Um, it's kind of a list of exclusions that include things like utilities, and, and her suggestion is that, that we add it to the exclusion list. I think, I want to be fair to them, um, if you go for five years, I mean, none of us has the faintest idea how much petrol is going to cost in five years, or, or uh, it seems tough to hold them to... Well, I think we could look at 
going for a longer period. I don't think it should be like utilities because we need, we can't, we, we can't decide that the toilets are no longer going to use water. You know, that is the utility. Mm -hmm. needs them. If we're going to have that function, it's going to have water in it. Yeah. It has to be there. I think whether we decide we're going to, because what we pay for these buses, the, some of these buses would run anyway, but they wouldn't go out to the sort of like loops and the bits that they would do, they would be a far more direct, direct run that we pay for the bits that it goes out to the outlying kind of areas, yeah? Sometimes they've changed the bus times where they're never really practically useless. If you just mean like, they, they, they've changed the bus time so the bus that we pay for comes two minutes after the, the general service was on the main road and nobody gets on it and they say, no one's using this bus, we're going to pull the service. Right. So, so I think we do need to have a debate and a talk about right. the decision of whether we're going to carry on. And to find it on a, on a, well, now, whether we do this every year, we do this t every two years, I think this is something that we have to have a chat with, with the um, West, West Yorkshire Combined Authority. Combined Authority. Mm -hmm. and say, we fund this, we think it's a bit, you know, we understand that we want to commit to it and we'd like to commit for so long, yeah. but we do think we should review it under a certain, certain time. Yeah. You know, and I think we need to work with them and say, look, can we look at reviewing it? You know, we've not reviewed yeah. it for so long. Can we review it next year or we going to look to sort of make a mm -hmm. committee for three years? Or, I, think that's a good idea. I don't know. Can I ask for uh, insulation here? I'll see you now and then we'll come to you. Um, you've been a councillor longer. If we were starting to find the bus unsatisfactory to our objectives, could we provide taxis or would there be a way? With our money, we could do with it what we want. If we chose not to fund them, we could yeah. choose to fund something else. Yeah. Yeah. So we came up with a provision of something else. You know, other places have like a door to door service. We could use the electric like delivery money. <laughs> Yeah, we could, we, we could, we could do Sit them on the front. We have a choice what we do with, with our money and what's fair. I, I find it, myself, I think it would be difficult without having some proper, real robust debate and strong discussions about it. We're not just this committee, but also the Climate Emergency Committee for when we've made such commitment to the climate emergency yes. to be cutting a public service bus yes. funding to it. I think we would be, <laughs> it's not it, would, it would not look good. Yeah. So, but I do think we should be doing one every three years or something. I think, I think we have yeah. to have a conversation with my shop. Councillor Blackadder. Oh, yeah. oh, sorry. Yeah. I, mean, I mean, Mike, you, Mike would just say to someone what I was going to say, that I think it would be politically dangerous and that's to cut off the funding for the buses but mm -hmm. I do think we should be exploring the possibility you know the, the uh, more, more flex the more flexible service uh, does anybody have any idea how much of, of, of how much does our money contribute towards the cost of providing the service uh, it can't be the whole cost it just oh, it's it it just it I, I just don't know possibly no, be the whole anything like the whole it might be worth our time yeah. 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 I remember oh. Service Provision Committee, uh, somebody from, from Metro coming and speaking, mm -hmm. not long after I've joined the And that was a useful, that seemed to be a really useful thing to mm -hmm. Well, maybe we could. Do we feel we want to have them come and say, just talk just to us now, or do we want to leave it to what they want? Mm -hmm. I think. For me, I think the discussion has to have a purpose, and I think that purpose would be if we say, we, we look from our thing, what have you. Reviewing this every year, we don't think is really a viable option because it gives nobody any, you know, running a bus service. They're waiting every year whether we're going to pay them or we're not going to pay them and make a decision on it, which is, you know, so. But we do feel like we need to have the debate and the discussion and about what you've got. So, what what works for them, what works for us, if you know what I mean? You know, it's a good one for us, but I think we need to approach yeah. them. Maybe we should have an informal discussion, but just with FMM, not full council. Yeah, just yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, I think we, we need to go back to them. I, I need to go out to them and find out the nature of the contract as it stands. Has it come out of this yeah, budget? Yeah. Or has it come out? Well, service provision, service provision, is it? So it should come to them. You think? Yeah. Well, yeah. It's service provision, so they should come out to them. It is service provision. I don't want to jump on anybody's toes. No. It is them. Yeah, it would be. Sure. <laughs> so that initial discussion could be a service provision rather than us.
course, or maybe we could all have a special meeting and we'll mm. Anybody can say that. There's so many provisions that I can't believe I can hand it to Jen rather than me. Your eyes lit up there. <laughs> No, I, I think you're right. I think uh, this kind of exclusion thing, I think, ignores the fact that we need to review it. Yeah. You know. mm. um, but, I, but I think a discussion with Westfield Combined Authority and, and stops as well, and mm. we yeah. want to go through more. Okay. Um, could, could, I, could I move back to point number one? Which, mm. yeah. I mean, I, I, I do think these the loan and it's ridiculously low, aren't they? I mean, and the amount of time spent by by um, uh, by our staff so we, trying to get it. We, well, we don't stick to we don't stick to no, that last point. No, it should be well, it should it's be ridiculous. It won't be. It needs to be. It needs to be really. Well, no, no, no. The reason she brought it up is that we don't stick to it. So, you know, this is where she's saying we should change the terms of policy rather than practice. It's absolute nonsense. Sorry, that just needs to be. Yeah. 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 What did she have in mind? Yeah. Yeah. This, this, this is to get three quotes, this is. Yes, yeah, so that's fine. Yeah. Yeah. That's three quotes, so yeah. they can spend up to a thousand without getting three yeah. quotes. Yeah. 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 Do we have to recommend this to full council? I presume we do. Well, can we just make well, this well, decision? The decision that the oh, right. council will see the minutes and they can say that. Hang yes. on a minute, tell them the minutes. <laughs> We all read the minutes just for the members of the public. Right? <laughs> 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 um, okay, so that's that's the first one. Um, and then we've just talked oh, about yeah, the minibus. Yeah, and then the, the third one is about um, various mm -hmm. detailed procedures. Mm -hmm. I took every single one when I read them. But they seemed sensible to me. Every contract that I read, no exceptions. It doesn't have to apply to things. Well, these these yeah. are the things it shouldn't have to apply to. I think what we've done is we've rejected that. We've rejected that. 11.1 option. This is when you were going to put it in as an exception. Yeah. Right. That was an option to put. So, so yeah. it would have gone in at the end, but it was an exception to include the, the minibus service. It was an exception. We've already said that we don't want it to be an exception. We want it to be a longer term contract yes. in terms of yeah. right. going to West York's combined authority to discuss. So that's we picked an option out of that as per the, 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 the consideration yeah. at the end of it. Um, and then the next two, three and four, are where I've had to sort of write policies or, or, or steal policies. <laughs> <laughs> I, stole that, uh, I stole that. Um, a bit of cutting asset. and pasting. I stole that asset um, disposal document from somewhere else. <laughs> um, so she basically said that we need a process for dis for disposing of assets. Uh, there was a time when uh, our shredder, which cost something like 200 quid, broke and we just trashed it within the door that it was on. So because it was such a large amount, we, we were meant to record these kind of items. So it's, it's for anything that's, that's valuable to make sure that we're um, not, you know, we're not selling selling computers down the Westfield market. Yes. Yeah, you can still dispose of it, you just have to give right what, how you dispose of it, why you dispose of it. Um. And then four, was when I was um, the auditor or whatever I was, or the, uh, I was concerned, because I kept reading these things about risk management, mm -hmm. and I don't know the first thing about financial risk mm -hmm. management, and it is something we should probably pay more attention to than currently we do. And maybe one of us needs to train, or I mean, I don't mean you because I mean councillors, but councillor Hobbs. Just going back to your disposal of assets in your asset disposal form. Yeah. Is there anywhere that was, was not discussing to our car? It just said scrap, so gift donated. But there's nothing about, um, I suppose it could be there's additional information about that. Um, 
how that decision was made in relation with the most technical or most environmental Oh yeah, fair point. Oh, if, you, if you've got a computer that's a bit out of date, give it to a charity, don't just limit it. Yeah, well, you know, just a, I think there seems to be a comment in the box yeah, there, yeah. but that was, yeah. his choice was made as... Well, I suppose yeah. something about consideration, um, consideration. Making, sure, making sure consideration was given to recycling, reusing, and re yeah. reusing, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. 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 The idea is that staff would, sorry, the idea is that staff would make the decision, though. You don't need a special manager to discuss the scrapping of the, uh, the shredder or the stapler. Um, well, some councillors say, what's a shredder? Yeah. 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 Ye
Mm -hmm. Remember, you know, people want to be your bank. They don't want everyone wants eighty thousand pounds at the end. Yeah. You know what I mean? So that's why, because we get bigger and bigger, if that eighty thousand doesn't go up, we'd have to be working with like sixteen different banks. Oh, does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I talked to the auditor about it, so I was a bit worried the same way you were that we had money that wasn't covered, and her attitude was, was sort of well, you, you've got to be practical. You can't cover all your you can't cover all your assets. You just cover what you need to cover, so that you're not in. You know, you can still in the, in the survive. Basically. In the distant past, at one time, uh, sometimes you can't think it's one of them all going back. They would leave their money with Kirk Weasley to write down, rather than when the precept comes, get it and they're printed on banks. Yeah. So we get it in two. We get it in two installments. Yeah. So you get it in two. You come. We only have halves of it. Yeah. Yeah. Precisely. So you you may go. Actually, I could be having. That 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 is. We could have it a third or a quarter. Yeah. Well, that's that. Yeah. That's where we can agree. They may say no. Everyone gets everyone gets into a payment, so that's easy for us. But either. There were pleas when we asked it in three bits. We asked it in three bits when, do you remember Kirk Lee was in a bit of a, they were a bit yeah. shaky, was it shaky yeah. a couple of years ago? Yeah. Um, and they were quite happy to do it in two bits. So, so that, that's another way of going. I don't know, sir. I mean, if we have it in three or four bits, they are, well, under normal circumstances, getting interest. <laughs> <laughs> but not, they don't get interest. Well, we get some interest, I suppose, but it doesn't. Offset the bank charges, does it? No, no, no. So carefully, we're not going to charge the bank charge, but we don't get the interest. We're, we're actually, that's a gain, isn't it? Yeah. So are we happy with this policy to recommend it to council? Yeah. Yep. Okay. And um, the next item is clearly not going to happen. We have apologies from one of the councillors, and mm. the other one isn't here. So we defer to next meeting. Thank you. Thank you. We defer to next meeting. Yep. Okay. And the financial, we are here to note that financial records have been uploaded and are accessible. No, Is that no, noted? No, no, no. I've, got the, I've got the statement for last month as well, so the December should go to the next few days as well. Not sure, very quick. We're bringing the meeting to a close. Have we bring the meeting to a close? Yes. Yeah.